Hi everyone, my name is Chef Jeremy Lavelle and today I'm going to share a special recipe with you guys. Right, so today we're going to do some sada roti. We're going to start with our baking, baking powder, our dry ingredients with baking powder, yeast, I like to put a little bit of yeast, and salt. All right, we mix it around, keep for even distribution, and then we add our water. You kind of want to add the water gradually, so you don't want to end up with a pasty dough, rather than you know a nice smooth textured dough. Bring everything together and get that knead going on to develop the gluten in the flour a little bit. We allow to rest for about 30 minutes. Cover and rest for about 30 minutes and then we knead again. Right, after we have had, we have allowed our sada dough to rest. We take it out and we pour it into four bowls. We knead again and then we allow to rest for another 30 minutes. Place back in our bowl. Cover and rest for another 30 minutes. Now we have our sada already proofed. To roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna get a nice circle. All right, you're gonna find little air pockets while rolling, but that's fine. And you don't wanna roll it too thin, yet you still don't wanna roll it too thick. Otherwise, you're gonna get a more bread finish rather than a, a roti finish. Sometimes, if you do have sticks a little bit to the table, it's fine to dust a little flour. You try not to put too much flour as the flour tends to burn on the tower. Right, now we're going to cook our sada. Typically and traditionally, sada is cooked on a tower. Today, <laughs> for all for the ones who don't have a tower on a dabbler, we're going to use our hot skillet and our wooden spoon. Right, we're going to add our dough to our hot skillet. We look for a little bubbles to start showing up before you want to turn. And as you can see, the little bubbles starting to show up, then we want to turn. Right, I know typically and locally, we roll using the tower, we, we roll the, the sada roti on the heat a little bit. But today we don't have flames, we don't have tower, we're using our skillet. But it's going to raise almost the same. Right. We're going to kind of pull the edges on so we make sure the edges are, are cooked as well. Right, and I think we're just about finished. 